<laughs> I wasn't even recording. <laughs> Well, now that we're recording, hi. <laughs> hey beauties, it's your girl Kristen. I'm a licensed esthetician, an educator, mentor, a YouTuber, and a mom. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'm really, really thankful and blessed to have you viewing this video. And if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, especially if you're also an esthetician, maybe you're an aspiring esthetician or beauty entrepreneur. I've just been sharing with you my real and raw journey as an esthetician. First as a solo esthetician, now going into a full-blown business. Be sure to comment below introduce yourself I'd love to get to know you more where you're at in your journey and how we could help support you here and perhaps any topics that you're hoping you'll hear from me and my channel but every single time I put out a survey um, I get the same topics that kind of come flooding in and I know one topic that I haven't really touched on much is about mastering ingredients and product knowledge this video is gonna be part of my continuing education series for estheticians I had dived into this earlier this year but I just didn't continue the series because I had other topics that I felt were more pressing but I'm glad to be back and to be talking about things that I feel like you should know coming out of esthetician school. I don't want you to get confused and thinking that this is going to be a breakdown of ingredients, your ingredients 101. I do plan on doing an online course for that very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. And make sure you check out my other online courses. I have my Going Solo series to walk you from point A to point Z of opening up a successful business. I have a lash lift course, brow course. Check those out and I plan to continue to add to that. And this is definitely one of those topics that I get requested a lot. What am I going to talk about in this video? I'm going to talk to you about how you can become a better master of ingredients and a little bit more about how I go about educating myself, how I talk to clients, more methodology behind becoming a master of products and ingredients. As always, grab your notebook and your pen and be sure to continue watching. Excuse me guys if I sound a little nasally, a little scratchy, I think I'm coming down with a little bit of a cold. Took a COVID test, it was negative, thank goodness. So I'm gonna make this short, sweet, and to the point. Cause like I said, this video is not gonna dive into ingredients themselves. I plan on releasing that in a future online course. But this is just gonna help give you some strategy. I just wanna start by talking to you guys a little bit more about how it felt for me when I first started as an esthetician five years ago. When I started in an esthetician school, I went in, I had never even had a facial before. I never even really knew much about skincare. My skin at the time was okay I mean it wasn't the best but it wasn't the worst but I definitely had an oily t-zone some congestion going on and now you know I've been able to help my own skin and I love helping others with their skin and so I know getting into this industry you feel like you need to know everything and you need to be the master of you know making that acne go away and balancing the skin and all that and I just want to remind you first and foremost that you're never going to be able to master it all okay I've been in this for five years I'm sure some of you watching have been in here in this industry for even longer and you still don't know everything take a moment and just take a deep breath and say okay I don't need to know everything to be successful as an esthetician because you don't because look at where I'm at I've gone into my own business um, only like working at a spa for two years and I came into this just doing what I felt I did best and I wanted to learn along the way. So as long as you're always remaining a student, you're remaining open, you're doing your research, that's all you can do. You're doing your best at the end of the day. So don't be hard on yourself if you're just getting started because I remember being in school and like my teachers or like guests would come in and talk about products and ingredients and I'd be like oh yeah and it seemed like everyone else around me like knew what glycolic acid was and I had no I just feel like I had felt so like a fish out of water with this stuff because I had no knowledge of it before. So don't feel alone in that feeling because it's it's totally normal and it's okay. Know that it's only going to get better from here. The biggest, biggest tip I have for you is to just practice. Honestly, it's just about diving right into doing these facials and sort of honestly like playing around with different products and ingredients. Of course, you know, within reason, we don't wanna like do anything too crazy on people's skin. With that being said, make sure you do feel confident in the things that you're using. And if it is basic, 
that's fine. Don't feel like you need to offer the most fanciest advanced things in the beginning of your career. It's about making the client feel good and leaving them with a great result. I believe skin is not a one size fits all. I always tell all my clients that my first time working on it is my first time working on it. I don't know how it's maybe gonna react to certain things or like or dislike certain things. Really let your client know like you're in this with them, you're gonna hold their hand through this. When it comes to talking to them about ingredients, it is good to verbalize your knowledge. Um, whatever knowledge it is, whether it's beginner level or advanced level, I notice a lot of the newer estheticians that I work with, that I train, are really scared to talk. I know some of you've asked like, well, you know, what about the facial? Isn't it supposed to be relaxing? Am I supposed to talk? I think if people are coming to me, they're gonna want to be educated. That's kind of how I've established my reputation is that yes, it is relaxing, but it's also gonna be informative and educational for you. You let them know, hey, yeah, I want you to relax, but I also want to talk to you about your skincare regimen and what you're doing. And I'll also be telling you what I'm using on your skin so that they can feel more comfortable in knowing like, okay, this is what she's doing for me right now and during the service. So I'm very vocal, um, especially with a first time guest. First like three sessions, I feel like I'm very vocal with them about what I'm using on them, what's in the products I'm using, what pr uh, product recommendations I'm giving them. And then of course, I'm following up with them and making sure that they're, they're as educated as well and that they know what they're using on their skin. First things first, is whatever skincare line you decide to use, Again, start simple. Don't get all crazy. Don't get all 10 peels that they offer. Start with the basics, cleansers, exfoliators, masks. Each skincare brand, from what I've been able to see, offers some sort of online database or a actual physical manual. So I know Image has their treatment manual and the SkinScript training manual as well. Those are the two main like skincare lines that I work with, but I know, I mean, pretty much every skincare line that I've ever seen has some sort of booklet or manual um, where they actually did the homework for us. If you're talking about wanting to be a master of ingredients, don't work harder, work smarter. Usually their info, the info is there already. So ask your rep or whatever brand you're working with for a manual, if not purchase one. Open it up. You know, it's not supposed to be in your treatment room just collecting dust. Like seriously, open it up, take the time to read it, educate yourself. When worse comes to worse, if you don't know how to use a certain product, look at their protocol. Like I know um, Image has detailed protocols on how to use their peels and what products to use. You know, I will say sometimes it is a marketing strategy with these pro with these brands that they want you using their cleansers and their serums and like all of it has to be one brand. But as you know, I'm somebody who likes to mix in cocktail, which again comes with a little more experience. If worse comes to worse and you don't know what the heck you're doing, just stick to what they are recommending um, because that's always going to be the safest bet. They have research and practice behind their protocols and don't be afraid of having your manual out and look at it while you're talking to your client. I think honestly people appreciate knowing that you're telling them the proper information. I notice a lot too when I have newer estheticians coming in here. <laughs> when they do talk, sometimes it's the wrong information. Sometimes I'll hear people making false claims about certain ingredients and what they do for the skin. And so I want to caution you with that. I don't want you to feel like if you don't know something that you need to like make something up and like promise the client something that they want to hear, okay? Make sure we're not making false claims. It's better to under promise than to over promise to a client. If you're saying, oh my gosh, okay, what's the benefit of vitamin C? whoop out your darn manual and look at the product you're talking about and say okay this is it's brightening it has antioxidants like don't say things that you're not a hundred percent confident in i promise you as you start to just read and memorize honestly purely memorization when i have students come in here coming in here and i'm introducing to them the products that they'll be using and i say okay what's the three main ingredients active key ingredients in this product and what does it do and why and who, what skin is it good for. So let me repeat that. So you have a product. You're gonna pick out the top three to four active ingredients. You wanna know what they do. Okay, and that's easily, you could look it up in your manual. You can Google it, make sure it's from a reliable source. What skin type it's best for. Those are probably the main things that you need to know about certain ingredients. And again, it's just gonna come down to pure memorization in the beginning. And then I felt like at one point, maybe it was like, 
a year or year and a half into being an esthetician and like working on clients one day it just clicked it started coming out of my mouth like blah, 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 blah. like i was like whoa who are you you didn't know this stuff before so i'm telling you if you just constantly regurgitate 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 the same information over and over and over and over again you're gonna know what you're talking about without having to open up one of these booklets so have some confidence in yourself really make it your homework to memorize these ingredients. Yeah, and so honestly, when it comes down to like selling a product or having your clients feel comfortable coming back to you, it's because you educated yourself, you sound informed, and it's about how you carry yourself. If you're gonna sit there and be like, well, I don't really know much about ingredients, I don't have that much experience yet, you're not looking confident and you're scared, Clients are going to be like, oh, this girl doesn't know what she's talking about. Like, I don't know if I should go to her. You know what? Emulate that light. Your licensed esthetician. Time is something you cannot fast forward through. You have to make those mistakes. You have to do hundreds and hundreds of facials to start to feel comfortable. Remember, like, we have so many things on our plate. You know, don't be so hard on yourself because we're also trying to multitask while we're talking to our clients. And if you don't know the answer to something, don't over promise, don't spit out like false information and tell your client, you know what, I actually would love to know that answer as well and I'll get back to you and actually follow up with them and let them know what you researched and what you found out. Community and knowledge is so key in this industry. You know, don't feel like if you are a solo esthetician that you are by yourself and you can't ask people questions. You don't want to bother anyone. Like that is why I made this platform. Use this platform as a way to converse with other estheticians who are also in the same position as you. So if there's one like seriously pressing question that you have for this topic, please comment below. I will be sure to either answer it myself or hopefully another esthetician watching can also assist. Also, I can plan to address that in my course or in a future video. Like I said, all of the knowledge and the research is right in front of you. And I wanna encourage you to be proactive because I think sometimes we tend to get used to being spoon fed all of this information. I wanna encourage you to be a go-getter and you make the time regularly to educate yourself and to continue to watch my videos, to continue to watch other videos on YouTube, making sure it's from a credible source, okay? You know, cause there's a lot of people on here claiming certain things and they're getting paid to say it so just make sure that it's something genuine and truthful you probably have a lot of other questions but i just wanted to make this video to kind of just address that and make you feel like okay i got this it's okay i think my throat is done for this video i got kristen coming in soon and we got some other work to do so i hope that you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to your girl's channel and comment below with any questions that you might have and as always, I will see you guys back here on Monday for a new video. I love you, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.